Creating pins on Pinterest takes up a lot of time. So keeping up with posting and remaining active on Pinterest can be a struggle for those that don't have the time to devote to it. Especially with Pinterest pushing fresh pins so hard right now in their algorithm, growing on Pinterest and getting traffic from it can be difficult. Hi, my name is Sarah, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create Pinterest pins quickly using Canva templates. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to go over is what is a Pinterest template? A Pinterest template is simply a pin that you or somebody else has put together that you can use over and over again. All you really need to do with a Pinterest template is create a pin design once and save it somewhere that you can use it. And then when you want to use that pin design again, you switch up the colors, the fonts, the photos, and small details to make the pin look slightly different without completely changing the design. I'm going to be showing you my process to creating 70 plus pins a week for me and my clients in just one day. So these are the Pinterest templates that I've saved and created over the years. I have them saved in a Pinterest folder labeled Pinterest templates for easy access. And you can get a hold of these templates in one to two different ways. You can either create them yourself, like I have done here, or you can use some of the Canva templates that are available. You can get to these templates in a few different ways. You can go here to the Design Anything and click on Social Media, and then you can scroll through until you see a Pinterest template. So Pinterest pin is right here. Or you can search Canva for Pinterest pin, or you can go up here to create a design and type in Pinterest pin and it will give you a variety of pins or you could do a custom size. If you need more help navigating the home screen, I already did a video on this which I will link right here or down below in the description. I go through this a lot slower and show you everything that you need to know about the Canva home screen. Well, one of the ways I like to get to the Pinterest pin templates if I am looking for new templates is going up here and just typing in Pinterest pin. And these are all of the Pinterest pin templates that Canva has to offer. And of course, these are all Pinterest pins that you can change. They are just good to give you an idea of where to start if you're new to creating Pinterest pins and you don't know exactly what design you are looking for. The second way that you can get Pinterest templates if you do not want to create them yourself is you can buy them from other bloggers. I created a pack of 36 of my best performing Pinterest templates and put them up for sale on my Etsy. This is a great way to get some fresh looking pins and to support your favorite bloggers as well. If you'd like to check out the pins that I have created or you'd like to check out any other pins, there are a ton of different templates that you can find on Etsy. I'll leave a link down below to that in the description if you want to check out mine or even any other bloggers. So now I want to get into creating a Canva template because if you don't like either of those two options, I want to show you how you can create your own Canva template so that you can get your own designs and put your own spin on things. So I went to here to create a blank Pinterest pin and it opened up this screen here which is basically just a standard Pinterest pin. So the first thing I want to do is add a photo because Pinterest is a very visual search engine so you want to have photos if you can in your designs. So we're going to go here to elements and I'm going to go down here to the grids and let's have the photo be the entirety of the grid. And then we can go down here to photos and we can type in, let's type in laptop and let's go with this photo here. Basically what you need to do is you can click and drag and the photo will snap to the grid or you can click on it and it will show up in the middle and then you can click and drag it to the grid from there. The next thing you want to have on your Pinterest pins is you always want to have your logo or your website link so that you can prove that that pin is yours and you have some sort of branding on it as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to elements and then I'm going to go up here to lines and shapes. I'm going to click on this little box and it's going to show up in the middle. I'm going to drag it down here and I'm going to drag it to the edge here and make it kind of small because you don't need your website link or your logo to be very big. You don't want it really to be the focus of the design, but you want to make sure that it is there so that you get your brand awareness out there. So I'm going to keep put it down here and then we're going to put our website link on top of that. I don't really like that color, so we're going to go up here and we're going to change the text box color. I'm going to change it to just plain white so that it's easy to see. And then we're going to go over here to text. Because I have the paid version, I am able to have three of my favorite texts available easily to click. If you don't have that option or you don't have that set up, you can go here and search for a text yourself. And so I'm just going to click to add text. 
I'm going to add in my website link. And obviously this is gigantic, so you can do one of two things to make the text smaller. You can either highlight it and then go up here and change it to 20 because you want it to be really small. You can either use the plus or minus signs to just go down by one or two increments, or you can click and drag the side of the box and it will make it bigger or smaller based off of where you're dragging it. I'm going to keep mine at 20 because I think that is a good size. And then I'll take this text box and drag it down here. Just so we can see this a little easier, I'm going to use this slider and slide it a little bit so we can see what we're doing a little bit easier. I'm going to center this in the box here so you can see with the pink lines that this is centered. Um, let's drag this over here and I'm going to drag this to the side here and then take my cursor and drag the text box all the way over so that we're sure that my website link is centered. If you don't like the text that you have, I think this is a bit bulky for a website link, you can highlight it and come up here and you can change the text from here. So I'm just going to use the regular Mont so that it's not as bulky. So now to get back to your regular pin view, all you have to do is click on zoom and click to fit and it will put the pin back to its original location. The next thing we need to do is add some text. But when we add text to a pin, we need to make sure that that text is visible and it's going to be a little bit hard to see depending on what picture that you've put. So one of the things that we can do is either add a text box or add something to sit the text on. And you can find something like that in Elements. So you can either use a text box like I did here and change the color of it, or you can use something a little bit funkier to kind of get a different look to your pin. So I found this cute little graphic here that I'm going to use. This is going to be a little bit too small, so we're going to make it bigger. Um, but before we do that, if you are using a text box like this, or you are using a graphic like this, and you'd like to change the color, on most of the things you are able to change the color. So if you click on it, you can go up to the corner here and you can change the color. This one apparently was a gradient at some point, so there are two options available for what you can change. But I'm going to leave it at pink so that it's just one color. And if you have any text box or anything like that, you can always go up into the corner and change colors from there. Now this is obviously a little too small to write in text on, so I'm going to click and drag to make this a little bit bigger so we can actually get some writing on there. The next thing we need to do is add some text. So when you are creating a Pinterest pin title, you want to make sure that you are naming it something that people are actually going to want to click on. So try to get a good click worthy title on your Pinterest pin. So I'm going to go for a simple title here, something that tells people exactly what they are going to be reading, um, but I don't like that this is black. I don't think it stands out well enough on there. So one of the things I'm going to do is go up here to text color and I think I'm going to change that to white so that's a little bit easier to see and pops out a bit more. There are a ton of different things that you can do with text and Pinterest pins and if you want to see all of the things that you can do with the text and go a little bit slower on this tutorial, make sure to check out the video that I mentioned earlier which is up here or down below in the description. I go really super in-depth on all of these things if you are a beginner Canva user. And there you have it. This is a very quick Pinterest pin that you can do in a few minutes. Now what I will do with this, if you want, you can rename it. So up here you can rename it. We will name it pin template one. So now what I will do with this pin, if I decide that I want to use it again, is I will go up here to file and I will save it to folder. And then I'm going to go and find my Pinterest templates folder and I'm going to save it there. And the next time I decide I want to use this pin, I can change the text, I can change the colors, I can change the wording, the photo, and I can change the color of that text box. And I may even change the location of those things as well so that Pinterest will recognize it as a different Pinterest template. And then if I go over here to home, I can click on my Pinterest templates folder. And as you can see, the Pinterest pin that I've created is right here. And now when I go to create Pinterest pins, I can just click on that again and use it all over again. Creating pins can be very time consuming. And if you got through this whole video and thought, nope, this is not for me, I do not have time, there is other options for you if you are not interested in creating Pinterest pins for yourself every single week. I offer pin creation and Pinterest management services where I either create pins for you and send them off to you or I take over your entire Pinterest account and you don't have to do 
anything. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check out the link down below in the description. It'll be the one right on top. Don't forget to check out one of these two videos where you can either get more Canva help or more Pinterest help. And I'll see you next time. Bye.